You know what this means, y'all? Dame time. It is time for Damian Lillard to demand to be traded. We are getting to the point that Portland trades Damian Lillard. Dame is about to sit here and watch Chris Paul win a championship. Now my advice to Damian Lillard is now it's about time for those rumors to start to be true. I have begged Damian Lillard for years to come to the New York Knicks. I'm not going to lie. What is up? Welcome back to Course Life. Today we are doing something new yet again. We're doing what I think we will be doing with every single player. It's going to be on the trade market. Yes, today's mission is we are going to trade Damian Lillard onto hopefully a team that will win him a championship. The format of these videos is going to be as follows. One, we're going to dive into Damian Lillard's stats. We're going to dive into what Dame is bringing to the table right now. And then we're going to compare that to other players in NBA history. From there, we're adding a combination of current NBA trade rumors to you know get teams that are actually realistic with the NBA trade machine to pull off the very trade that we are going to be looking for and then to top it all off we are going to what if sports.com and we are going to be using this feature that is called the dream teams and what we're going to end up doing with the teams we trade Damian Lillard to is one take the original team and see simple best of three one way. As you can see, we also have a play-by-play, -play, so we're going to the fourth quarter of these. Hopefully, things get intense. So now that we have that side of our place, who are the players that resemble a potential Damian Lillard trade request the most? Breaking news, Damian Lillard requests their trade, video rolls, and then we're going. And so when we look at players that resemble Damian Lillard at the time, I'm going to hit with Ray Allen. What we're looking for with the Damian Lillard trade would be a second or third type best player now on a new contender, right? That is what happened with Ray Allen in the bank at three in Boston. Awesome. Now, if we look at Ray Allen's stats, you might be surprised. Ray was putting up 26 points a game the season right before he left for the Boston Celtics. Now, if we're pulling up Dame, we have to adjust for, of course, current modern day pace. More stats, more shots, more points. 32 years old, right? 26.4, 31 years old. We're just a live look at leaders and points per game that year, 2007, and we will see the difference. I'm believing I could get exposed. Points per game, 31.6. There we are, right now at number six. For comparison, right? Let's just, number six this year, 30.1 Jason Tatum. So Dave was number three, especially because Ray Allen was not considered a player that was going to be the number one guy on the franchise. Back in 2008, Boston Celtics, big trade for Kevin Barnett and then they end up cementing that championship by trading for Ray Allen for a package that includes Jeff Green, Wally Serviak, Delonte West, and a 2028 first round pick. What we have here is veteran that could help you with a contract, young up and coming crossing player that could hit it big in Delonte West. And then this was the supposed to be potential all-star Jeff Green. So with that in mind, we have the Denver Nuggets in play according to this website. We have the New Orleans Pelicans. I do like that. I do want to dive into that. We have the Miami Heat. Other than that though, we're able to New York. We're able to New York with a package with our and Bronson, right? So we're really trying for Dame in this video specifically to win the title with him. So to get those type of teams. Let's see. This would be a scenario. Kyle Lowry of it is of course that contract. He's the Wally. The Wally Serviak contract. Dame is round. This is Dame. The main guy here will be Tyler Hero. If you are enjoying this video, if you are enjoying this content, please subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you never miss another video. We are on a grind here. Very appreciative you are here from the beginning. And also I am doing a giveaway to show that appreciation. To celebrate the launch of Coors Light, we are giving away Way, a VIP experience to game four of the NBA Finals. Plane tickets, a room, incredible seats. It is all included for game four of the NBA Finals for one lucky person who is subscribed to Coors Light. The winner will be picked on June 1st. All you have to do to enter is subscribe and turn on post notifications for Coors Light. Good luck. I cannot wait to pick the winner. This is going to be incredible. I hope you would. It's going to be awesome. Get back to the video. I was watching Tyler Hero in high school for sure, for sure. But then I saw this one picture and I might be sort of saying, Tower Hero shirtless. And it's like, where do we, how do we get here? But no work, no check. Not no title. For sure, I'm with you. No work, no check. I got you, man. He has to look at himself in the mirror to remind himself also to go work? I don't know that. Is that tattoo for us? We look, no work, oh, no check. Thanks, thank you. And the thing is, Nikola Jovic, this is a pretty good trade, right? Throw in some picks, throw in, you know, what, you know, apparently mortgaging their entire future. We're going to just try, trade, fail. What do we need to do to make it real? Now, to make this hours work, we are giving up Udonis Haslam, the mayor of Miami. So, in this situation, we're just pretending that Udonis Haslam is bought out and then goes back to Miami. That's what's happening. Again, also, first round picks being thrown, trade successful, plus 10 wins for the Miami Heat. I don't know if we're beating this one. So there's the Miami Heat. We're gonna create this 
ST right now. American Airlines, Miami, Florida, home to Damian Lillard, Jimmy Butler, and the new look Miami basketball heat. We got Miami Dame, we gotta get at least one, if not two more teams here. Miami, Dame versus Miami Heat 2023. As we can see, Kyle Lowry up against Damian Lillard. Okay, and fourth quarter, that's a blow up. 31 points, okay. If you've been here for the last year and you saw that a lot of these games went down right to the wire, but I don't know about this one. Damian Lillard, player of the game, 28 points. Might be that simple. Maybe this is the booth. Maybe we've already hit it. Now we are going to go, can we win the 2023 NBA playoffs with our favorite team that we make with Damian Lillard? Gonna be what happens. But finishing this off, looking for the sweep, we're going down four minutes left and it's not looking like we're gonna get a sweep. Maybe things are not so simple in my Amy Dame land. Tyler Hero, 26 points. So it's not like Tyler Hero didn't do it to him. We're gonna see if they can pull it off on the road. Here we go. 249 left. Duncan pass from Dame killed Martin is the only guy shooting. Hero, making his presence known. We got the net. 10 point win for Miami Dame. So we are gonna look for at least one more team. I think we run through the New York Knicks. I do think we just go. This is this isn't gonna be a hard one. for Portland. I mean, you get Dylan Rosen, so a guy who was playing at an all-star level this year, who's also locked into that contract. So you're believing in Dylan Rosen as that all-star level player. Then RJ Barrett, and you're believing that RJ Barrett is going to be maybe like an, maybe. Andrew Wiggins type, right? Fringe all-star slash just high level on a championship level team starter. And that this trade is what brings it out in Portland, baby RJ. And he feels this very successful trade that's not even that hard to do. And then get RJ Barrett, which is what I will say is RJ is the type of guy who is dedicated to his craft. He's grinded, he has tried his best to get better, and he wants to win. So this is just as simple as game time, MSG time. So we've got New York date. We're gonna save that. And then we're gonna decide who is going to be the team that we take to the 2023 NBA playoffs. So I'm trying to win. And so for number three, we have the New Orleans Pelicans. We have Dave and CJ. Wop. We need the younger players though. And diving back to our article, as we see, CJ, Dyson Daniels, and Kyra Lewis, along with 19 year old Dyson Daniels, number eight pick. This, I think, might end up being number one. Because if the Pelicans are able to pull off this trade, then they have Brandon Ingram, Damian Lillard, and the idea of Zion Woods. And that's the scenario here because we're not sending Dame over for no one to text him when he gets there. That's all I'm saying. So we are able to just trade straight away New Orleans Pelicans plus 12 wins, plus 12, CJ. Wow. That might have moved the New Orleans Falcons up to the number one seed in the Western Conference this season. So, New Orleans would be riding as the one seed. So, we are going to see Knicks and New Orleans Falcons here. Are they better teams with Damian Lillard on them? So, I would say going into this to finish, right? Damian Lillard, I'm believing on the Pelicans is going to be the best option we have. First, they have to prove it, though, by beating the current Pelicans. Miami taking that 2-1. I don't know if we can ride with them through the playoffs now, you know? So, we are believing in this team as long as long as Zion is out there with New York team, we've got always starting without RJ. Now, of course, we are just running with this. I'm actually, I'm not sure what's going to happen here because RJ and Jalen for a game, that's interesting. The Knicks win by 30. Maybe he just was a bit nervous in MSG. I'm not the team. Not the team. We have learned on this one right now, at least. We're not doing it. It's not happening. New York, watch out. Just watch out. Sweep. The Knicks take it. They haven't won a title in... How are we scrolling this long on New York? The lack of bowl in a New York City. I think we're gonna believe in. Please play Zion. Please play Zion. I'm hoping. I've been talking a big game about him. We are in the fourth. Here we come. We are dead into the end. It is a close one. It's a very close one. 36 seconds left. Zion on the other side coming down with the rebound. We're just full of confusion as he makes a contested shot. And we're in overtime one. We have 41 seconds left. Zion, battle of the fadeaway. He makes one. 40 seconds left. Brandon Ingram drains it. He misses the three. Shot chipped away. Two seconds left. Zion looking for a charge to end the... That is a weird overtime end, mate. We're in OT2. This game will not end. Three free throws made to tie the unit at 143. Herb makes it. We have Larry Hitz coming up short. Brandon Ingram with the rebound. Zion from rim. Oh, wow. That's got to be... Brady Ingram turns the ball over. Damn, four turn. Two seconds left. Dame time. Really? Let's get it. Huge, huge, huge sweat. Look at these sets. 43, 13 at seven. The other end, Dame 40, 12 assists, 22 ports or values. Let's see, can Dame just put it away so I can believe in them? It's looking like the Pelicans right now. Again, we might be riding. This is coming out to the last one. So if the Pelicans win this, 
We're going through the playoffs with them. But Priest plays Iowa with the maybe blowout, hopefully. Blowout? Blow them out, boys. There we go. 20 point win. There we go. Give me something to believe in. You know what I'm saying? Just give me something to believe in going into the playoffs. So now we're at the part of the video where please play Zion. It's going to be the away team because we are going through the Minnesota Timberwolves potential path through the NBA playoffs. Because in this scenario, Pelican's is going to beat the Thunder and beat the Timberwolves. Get into the first round of the playoffs against, as we know, the Denver Nuggets. That's the seventh series. So here we go. Pretty and Ingram. Five point lead, Jamal Murray right back, man. We're like five. 25 seconds left. It is game time. Can we do it? Team misses a bailiff. 0 for 1, the clutch shot for us. Overtime again. We're getting down two. We're down five. We're down five. We're down seven. Jamal Murray stepping in front. No, no. Say it ain't so. 0 1 in the series. 34 from Dame. Yo, okay. 38, 20, and 11. We got Dame two. Can we make a comeback? We're scrolling. We're scrolling. When we see at the beginning like that, we're in the New Orleans Belgium. We're still believing 2 0. Damian Miller. Come on, man. On the right? We're on the right. Please play Zion. We're coming down. Damn, bank three. Two minutes left. Nicole Jokic fouled, though. The Nuggets are destroying us. 16 seconds left. We need big three. Big three. Nine seconds left. There's every possibility that there is a wing. It misses. Seven seconds left. Game time or dog. Ah, so high not. Can't connect on the bend from the right wing. 3 0. Now we just hope for the greatest comeback ever. It's not happening. It's not happening. Nuggets, if anything, maybe we're believing in them a bit. They are my current pick to win the NBA championship. Just out of curiosity factor, you know, we got to try. Because we got swept a big. Sweep in the first round. What do you guys think? Where should Damian Miller end up? So we're going quick. We're just looking at the results. The Bucks destroyed. Okay, 30 point win. Big win. The teams we are making with Damian Miller are not beating current teams. And a whole Miami Dame. 2 1 at least. Okay, now we're back. Let's see if we get a fourth quarter. Okay, my Daily Dame 2 2. Sorry for picking the wrong team, guys. I'm sorry for picking the wrong team. They're winning. At the, they're winning. They're, they would have pulled it all the way off. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. That's three straight. 32 in the series. Does Miami Dame close it out against the Milwaukee Bucks? Oh, wow. Okay. Big comeback. This is more of, I just wish I had picked the right team. Wow. Okay. No, never mind. They have missed handles at one. 11 left. What comeback did we have? Oh, they were down. 17 to begin the quarter. Giannis, two, four, six, Eight in a row for Giannis to tie the basketball game. Daddy, put us at three. Do we believe? Theme time on Miami was always meant to be. Drew Holiday front rib. Giannis. I thought it was over. Giannis. David Pope. All right. All right. We should have won Miami. David Lillard. Or free to end this to end the video. But he would be in bands and maybe play the Nets. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here from the beginning. It really means the world. And I do also want to say that in terms of scheduling, we are doing three videos a week, every single week. But I want to say here as well that with the playoffs, with recent news, sometimes a Tuesday video might get pushed to Wednesday. Sometimes a Saturday video definitely might get pushed to Sunday. I don't want to rush out any content. I want to give you the best content possible. End of the day, three core lights a week. Thank you for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music. You think it's fun being friends with Mello? You guys really know Mello? Of course we know Mello! He was at my way! Table seven! Tell him again what table. Table seven! Me and my wife thought that was a nice touch. Very nice. And he loved it.